A new decade in Hong Kong begins in chaos with police cracking down on protesters. Police have made around 400 arrests. Offenses include unlawful assembly and possession of offensive weapons. What began last year as protests over an extradition bill has morphed into demands for democracy, sending hundreds of thousands into the streets. This is the first day of 2020 and I think we have rest enough and it is a time for us to tell the world that we haven't given up yet. I hope the government will listen to what the people are actually demanding. To the Chinese government, the protesters are rioters, an urgent threat to authority. Hong Kong's prosperity and stability is the wish of Hong Kong compatriots, Chinese President Xi Jinping said in his New Year's message. It's the expectation of the people of our motherland. And undoubtedly, shows like this are the biggest internal challenge to Xi's iron-fisted rule he has ever faced. The police tactics used to try to quell them are garnering unflattering international scrutiny. Dignitaries from 18 countries have written an open letter expressing grave concerns at the recent escalation of police brutality over the Christmas period. Signatories from Canada include former Secretary of State David Kilgore, former Ontario Premier and Federal MP Bob Ray, and MP Kenny Chu. The protesters say they will keep coming out in this new year, this new decade. No matter who is being threatened or facing suppression, this political activist says, we will not give up on them. We will not forget what we are fighting for. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, London.